Hi, this is Artifacts of Mars. Uh, scientists are now saying a controversial new study, life continues within the body after death, Spe specifically something called gene expression, they claim that some cells are trying to repair themselves. Um, even after someone is declared dead, life continues in the body, suggesting a surprise suggests a surprising new study with important implications. Gene expression when information stored in DNA is converted into instructions for making proteins or other mo molecules actually increases in some cases after death, according to the new paper, which tracked post-mortem activity and is published in the journal Open Biology. Not all cells are dead when an inf organism dies, senior author Peter Noble of University of Washington, Alabama State University told Seeker. Um, which is it? Anyway, diff different cell types have different lifespans, generation times, and resilience to extreme stress. Well, that much is true. In fact, some cells seem to fight to live after the organism has died. Alright, uh, so here's the part I'm not getting. There's no circulation, no food going to them, no oxygen. It's like likely so, some cells remain alive and are attempting to repair themselves, specifically stem cells. Signs of Cellular Life, the international team of scientists led by Alex P. studied zebrafish and mice, believe that phenomenon occurs in all animals, including humans. Gene transcription, the first step of gene expression, where a segment of DNA is copied into RNA, growing with a Associated with stress, immunity, inflammation, cancer, and other factors increased after death. Green gene transcription. And this could happen within hours or days after an individual as a whole was declared dead. Interestingly, gene transcriptions linked to embryonic development also increased. It's as though parts of the body essentially go back in time, exhibiting cellular characteristics of very hu early human development. Scientists identified as stepwise shutdown after death, where some gene transcriptions diminished while others became more abundant. While the precise steps have yet to be identified, scientists do not believe the process is random. Step death is a time-dependent process, Noble remarked. We have framed our discussion death in reference to post-mortem time because on one hand, there's no reason to who suspect that minutes after the animal dies, gene transcription will abruptly stop. On the other hand, he added, we know that within hours of days, the animal's body will eventually decompose by natural processes and gene transcription will end. The authors referred to the time of window, the window of time between death and the start of decomposition. It's the twilight of death when gene ex expression occurs, but not all of the cells are dead yet. For years, researchers have noticed the recipient of donor organs, such as livers, often exhibit increased risk of cancer following a transplant. Well, what do you expect? You're putting something in their body. 
uh, somebody else's liver or whatever in their body and doing all sorts of nasty things to them. What they expect, the authors indicate there could be a link between Twilight of Death gene transcription and this increased cancer risk. Now, with a common sense here, increased cancer risk? Really? Uh, so I get cancer by dying? Okay. It might be useful to pre-screen transplant organs for increased cancer gene transcripts. I see what they mean, but Noble said, which might offer some insight in the health of the organ, though more research is needed. Uh, yeah, I'd say more research is needed. This reminds me... Uh, I wonder where they're getting human cadavers, or are they? You ever wondered? In order to test their theory on humans, they would have to have corpses, fresh corpses, corpses dead for a day, corpses dead for two days. Where are they going to get those? You ever wondered about that? It sounds like a true... Mad science, mad scientist, great B science fiction movie. I mean, I mean, those are entertaining, but chief, chief Willikers. Unbelievable. I would definitely be leery of this because. You know, if you lose a loved one, you don't know whether some mad scientist is going to have them on their table poking around to see what they can find. The other thing is, I'm not a mouse. We're much more complex than mice. Their bodies are completely different. And we certainly aren't anything like zebrafish. A true mad science update. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching.